Hello, hello, hello. Wow. <laughs> greetings, 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 everyone, and welcome into the hourglass. All right, let's begin. So the sun has set on Libra season. Farewell, my beautiful Libras. We are now being allured and drawn in to the realms of shadow in this eclipse season with Scorpio. How are you guys feeling? This new moon is upon us, versatile, changeable. This could also be happening really fast or rapid re uh, rejuvenation, regeneration of the mind as well. Listen, Scorpio energy. I have Venus in my Scorpio and it's crazy because I wanted to, I was tempted to make a video I think two nights ago, but I just didn't have enough energy. I had a lot of appointments to get uh, done, completed the next day, the following day. So I could not stay up as late as I wanted to. Speaking of that, the following day I got wet. We had this like rain shower come down on me. I do have my trusted VIX. So if I sound stuffy, I will be putting that on. So if I take a brief moment or a break, please allow that to happen. All right. So let's talk about it. Yeah. This new moon energy. Some of you may be drawn to some sort of forbidden love. Somebody wants to come back. All right, this is an intense emotional bond here. I'm feeling like a lot of people in this energy, they're trying to stay centered. I'm hearing I'm sad, but I'm hot. All right. <laughs> so Venus and Scorpio. Yeah, big up to all my, my Venus and Scorpio. Those of you that had that Scorpio placement, craving that depth, right? That soulful connection. Mm. Some of you, you got to be careful. You may be a little bit more vulnerable to peer pressure, all right, due to desire to want to please people. So just be aware of that. All right, so let's see what's going on. I did have a, a poll going on on my community page. I wanted to see, like, what are you guys wanting to see or what readings, what um, channelings, insights, decks, what do you want to see on the Hourglass channel? Head over to my community page and how you could participate is not necessary. You, you could send me a um, a private email. My silent followers, big up on yourself. All right, so let's talk about Scorpio. <laughs> Some of you are like, ugh, nah. You can't be ugh in that no Scorpio, yo. <laughs> All right, so we have masters of subtext. So this means Scorpio rules anything that lies below the surface. Ooh, we have some crypto creatures going on. Some of you may be crypto, crypto creatures, artists here. Very strong, dark. Um, it looks like mutation. I'm seeing somebody sketching like this odd creature. It's very fascinating how you could come up with that idea, with that thought. I feel like you kind of rub people the wrong way with your art. Maybe that's why you keep it private. I would love to see it though. <laughs> so let's talk about it. What is going on? What is being unraveled? What is being unfolded in this Scorpio season? Let's start with the Twin Flame. A lot of you uh, voted for the Twin Flame readings. Now listen, I'm a Divine Feminine Keeper, meaning I do not give out information, insights, or even guidance for the Divine Feminine because I'm very aware we have a lot of imposters, doppelgangers. We even have a lot of distorted masculines uh, that participate or watch those readings. So I have from a long time, those that know, know, <laughs> I already got confirmation that that's not allowed on my mission as yet, but we, I'm going to try to, um, combine both ma divine masculine and both divine feminine. Now, keep in mind, we meet these flamers or these twin rays to kind of help support us energetically through breaking glass ceilings, paradigms, conditionings, um, or adopting certain religions or spiritual beliefs that could be holding us back. So definitely meeting these twin flamers to bring us closer to our higher self, our true selves, and our source, our divine, our creator. So it goes beyond what society deems as um, an, an acceptable masculine and feminine relation. So it goes beyond that romantic bubble. Some of you are like, what? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. You meet these people to trigger the fuck out of you, to open your mind, to take away those blocks in your chakra so you could be more in tune with yourself with life with the animal kingdom with your source come on what you thought it was <laughs> 
All right, let's see what's going on between the two twin flamers. Divine masculine, divine feminine. What energies, lessons are you both mutually sharing at this time? We have the emperor. Divine masculine wants to come out. And I heard I am a bold builder. <laughs> and we have the tower energy. So we have Aries and Scorpio vibe going on so let me just adjust my wiring here so if you see my setup kind of rock we're we're still here i'm not gonna let you fall baby so that could be what's going on in the tower moment some divine masculine and remind you gentle reminder hey we all have different waves healing is not a straight narrow road sometimes we fall back we stumble back we stumble forward we rise we fall all right so just keep that in mind all right, so let's talk about the Empress energy in the Divine Masculine. This is talking about being that sacred energy, Divine Feminine. You could be doing some upgrades with your own Masculine energy, so take what resonates. I, I get that this Divine Masculine is the main focus, so let's talk about him or her, and this is all energy. Energy is king. So the Divine Masculine may be having an epiphany, revelations, things may be shedding away and they're allowing it to happen. They're a bit worried. We could see some worry in the face, but ultimately they feel deep down that this is necessary. This is a necessary destruction. We destroy to rebuild. So this Divine Masculine may be rebuilding his or her cipher. We all have a cipher. We all have a code, a belief system that we live by. At times, we need to kind of uh, reassess it. We need to revise it. So I feel like this is what this divine masculine may be feeling. I'm also getting those of you that are more interested in um, the role, the <laughs> the relationship aspect. I feel like this divine masculine, whatever they thought about you, uh, it was not 100% accurate. And now they're having a revelation about it. I'm also getting uh, with this emperor's energy, this divine masculine. Let me go to my uh, tarot journal. You guys, I'm a scribe. That's part of my mission. I write a lot uh, about different energies and pairing of the cards. So when that information of the card is set up, that card combination, I release that information. That's just how I work. So we have a clear vision. This divine masculine may be having premonitions. And let me tell you, I've been feeling a bit dizzy lately. So maybe they're experiencing a little bit of dizziness here. I'm getting there like watching how systematic their life really was. I'm hearing initiative and leadership role. So this is a divine masculine that has a clear vision. The vision is still clear. All right. So being that things are falling apart in this divine masculine's life, they may feel like they're losing a lot or losing everything. The vision is still a, a focus point here. And that's probably what keep your divine masculine a, a little bit calm on the karma side. But they're still very worried. We see here the emperor is looking to the right. This is talking about more futuristic um, concerns. Concerns about the future here. A lot of you divine feminines, your divine masculines, they have a vision about the both of you. They see you in your future. The thing is, they need successful actions. They're trying to move through the rubble or the smoke here. I'm hearing rising from the ashes. So some of your divine masculine could be purifying through fire or like a shake. It's like a shake of their um their world or their inner inner world. I get that somebody jump ship or this divine masculine jump ship in an other situation. Uh, divine feminine, what you need to know, this divine masculine has a strong trust for you. If we're talking about your own masculine spirit or frame, listen, things are going to come undone in this Scorpio season. It's an eclipse season. It's happening rapidly and it's being done in a way where you have no power. You have no uh, power within yourself to stop it. Some of you, this talks about the art of surrendering. The art of staying calm in the midst of chaos. Scorpio season, my loves. It's going to teach you how to look for the beauty in the darkness or the shadows in the chaos. And how to turn, how to transmute that beauty into your light, into your power. The emperor is a very powerful energy. This could also talk about being hot. Didn't I mention that? Sad, but hot. So this divine masculine may not be pleased with what's going on in their life currently, but there is a sensation of being sensual sexy aroused <laughs> ow didn't i get y'all good i got y'all real good all right so let's see something is uh being uprooted hey 
I'm also getting that their foundation is crumbling. It always been crumbling. This divine masculine may be very stubborn, uh, stubbornly ignoring this crumbling, but it's happening. It's 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 beyond their control. It's almost like they try to keep gluing something back together and they let it dry. They let it dry, but it still broke right off, right? That could be someone that's working on something. I'm also hearing I'm very skeptical, but grateful. So they're like waiting something out, but it's opening their eye. And when I say eye, <laughs> I mean the real C and I wink, wink. And I winked from my real C and I. <laughs> <laughs> all right strong sexual appeal sex may be a very important part of this divine masculine's life i'm not saying it's the most important thing but it is important hey i'm also getting drama therapy <laughs> so some of you my divine feminines you may be in some drama right but it's teaching you how to hold strong how to buckle down on that vision so you know what have that balanced masculine energy my ladies my divine feminines yeah know when to switch back and forth know when your masculine energy is needed i'm hearing charge <laughs> right give me all that smoke right there is also a natural disaster happening. It was inevitable and natural in this divine masculine's life. I don't know. It's some sort of weather here, thunderstorms. And listen, last night we had a surprise thunderstorm or severe thunderstorm in my neck of the woods. And the, the power went out for a couple of hours. And I was worried that my fish may have, you know, freeze to death. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Saba, she was a little bit... Um, more um triggered by the power outage so her fins are like uh very very dull right now i still i think she's still trying to calm down seva is my female betta fish she's a dark beta <laughs> she's really dark dark purples dark blues i love it all right enough of my animal kingdom here <laughs> divine masculine divine feminine how are you both viewing the relationship uh, you know, and it doesn't have to be an exclusive relation. You have a relation with this divine masculine. All right. You're helping them to kind of, I'm hearing, you're, you're helping this divine masculine to see the thunderstorms in their life. I'm also hearing weather the storm, weather the storm, weather the storm. That's midnight. Big up to my wicked lovers and all. That is some midnight. Rest in peace to midnight. That was a legend in the reggae world. Yeah, weather the storm. Weather the storm. So your divine masculine is weathering the storm right now. Let's see how the divine feminine, the divine masculine is viewing the connection at this moment. Oh, look at y'all. I, I heard the song, and let me tell you, this song has been rotating on my YouTube feed. I do not, and I make it my business not to listen to music on the Hourglass channel because I don't want to start that, that trending on my feed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I do have a personal YouTube account, and it's strictly just for music. And this Kalum, Kalim, Kalum, I don't know if I'm repeat, uh, pronouncing his name properly. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that shit. Kalum Scott, because of you, I think it is. Be there goes my heart racing, and it's because of you. There goes my mind racing, or my thoughts racing, and it's because of you. So both of you are having very rapid but necessary shifts in your life. Some of you, the more that you learn, the more that you're rebuilding some sort of concept or cipher in your world. World. knowledge is power hmm the vision is true and the vision is you baby both of y'all want to work on this what's up somebody wants to lead or somebody's waiting for someone else to lead all right so we may be a little bit shaky on who turn it is to kind of pull the reins maybe there is some sort of conversation or communication needs to be had some sort of discussion but i'm getting that this divine masculine may be worried that some sort of uh secret or some sort of revelation may be too much for them to take right now they can't take so much in right now because of how things are happening in their life they're worried in their eyes, they may show it. I feel like they try not to show when things are bothering them. Their eyes kind of like, uh, show, it shows it a lot. I wanted to use a different um, term, but it didn't want to come there. Mm. 
I'm getting that this divine masculine or both of you maybe wanting to verify what you're actually feeling is true. The tower is here. What is the tower trying to signify here with give your relationship a chance? I'm getting, I'm seeing like a divine masculine, like, um, moving through some sort of rubble, looking under, uh, rocks. I don't know if they're looking for their divine feminine. Okay. So I'm getting that this divine masculine may not initiate in a very powerful way because they're afraid or worried that something may be exposed with the tower energy. Somebody's dream was shattered or somebody hopes were shattered about something here. The dream is still alive, right? This could also feel like a twilight, <laughs> like, a, like a, a catastrophe twilight or a nightmare. We have religious factors. We also have true love. Ooh, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you that bring this true love energy to my channel. It's just not about me. It's just not about me and my filter. It's about you too. All right. So thank you guys so much for bringing this true love energy. Those twin flamers that are in union, we applaud you. We salute you and we bring, we want that energy here. All right. Those of you that are in separation, it's a good thing. It's a good thing because now you could revise, reassess things, kind of like review what you want out of life. What do you want out of yourself? It's just not about your divine masculine and what the F they're doing in that separation period. Their karmics are their karmics. Now, if they're interfering with your life, you need to move forward past that. You're not, your kar you're not their karmics keeper. You're your own keeper. All right. Some of you are like really involved with the karmic and you need to kind of stand back and see what that does for your understanding. Some of you are living in a tower that that a same tower with those karmics illusions. All right. You're like obsessed or like overly concerned about what needs to be exposed. Some of you, you're glorifying uh, your divine masculine going through karma. What is that saying about you? Why would you glorify somebody getting uh, hurt? Yeah, they may have hurt you or, or betrayed you. It, yeah, but that's not for you to kind of glorify over. Think about it, all right? So we have true love energy. What my boy Rumpel Skillskin said, true love is like the ultimate magic spell, right? It breaks all other magic spells, right? Curses and, and all that good stuff. True love breaks that. So let me tell you, because of this true love, you're changing. You're responsible for the change in the mindset of this divine masculine and vice versa. Both of you may have been related to very hardcore religious people, or you were grown in a community or in a home where certain religions was practiced, spirituality, maybe some sort of contradiction to that. I also feel like some of you may be feeling like your world is spinning out of control. The things that you were taught, you're kind of questioning them. Go ahead and question it. You know, because if it's true, if it's facts, if it's factual, if it's if it's authentic, it's going to stick, honey boo boo. It's nothing you could change about authentic, authentic, authenticity and the truth. Something about gender responsibilities is hey, what a man was taught to be could be going or contradicting this divine masculine spiritual path. I'm also getting shoulder to shoulder. They want to walk or they want to heal something here with you. It's almost like they're slaying dragons, running up mountains and castles and shit. <laughs> so in this Scorpio season, a lot of us in the collective, we're craving for something soulful. Enough with the superficial bullshit. Enough what religion wants us to obey. What uh, society or um, yeah, societal conditioning wants us to obey and follow. Enough with our bullshit. We want something soulful. We want a deep connection. Hey, We want to feel safe. All right, so there are some secrets that may be exposed in the tower and your divine masculine may be kind of worried about that. I'm also getting a sinner's love or a sinner's sex or sinful sex. Okay, baby. <laughs> I'm hearing I want to verify what I feel is true. Mm, somebody's listening to sermons. Somebody's reading their Bible. 
I'm hearing, okay. So I'm getting like this conversation or somebody just blurting out their opinion here, but I'm getting like, I'm, I keep, okay, so I'm hearing someone say, I keep hearing the same thing over and over about the divine masculine. Almost like to the point where you're hearing something over and over about what the divine masculine is doing or should be doing. And it's really irritating you, kind of creating this like, is this even real? So somebody may be losing hope on some sort of repetitious something they're hearing about their divine masculine. Listen, like holy scriptures or holy books, um, incant incantations, affirmations. You have to repeat these things. You have to read these things over and over and over before the ritual or the affirmation or the manifestation becomes you. So if you're hearing, if you're going to a reader and they're constantly saying the same thing over and over and you're not, you're not buying it, you need to investigate why, why are you not buying it? What it is about it that it, it feels uh, gimmicky or like, um, mainstreamish or something. Somebody's hearing something about their divine masculine. Maybe you're hearing a lot that they're going through karma or they're closing up a karmic cycle or they're loosening a karmic cycle. This, this divine masculine, this particular divine masculine, this wave of divine masculine, and it could, again, mutual between the, the divine feminine. You guys have really strong holds, or these beliefs that were taught to you has really strong holds on you. From a saint to a sinner, or this divine masculine believes you're a saint and they're the sinner. And it's like a perfect duality here that they sense. They're a soldier of love. We have that with the emperor and the soldier right here. A clear vision of love. Or love is the only thing that remains after everything has been demolished. Our love still remains. I'm also getting as season changes, our love remains. I'm also getting that some of you divine feminines, you are so penetrating that you... Sh you the. The miracles that's happening between you and this divine masculine, it's actually penetrating, like forcing a uh, faith back into their heart or their life from the balance within. So something is breaking down from the inner balance. So whatever this divine masculine held in place as some sort of symbolism or representation of balance in their life, it's becoming undone. It's like collapsing from in the inside. And all they have is faith. This divine masculine wants to work on this relationship. I feel like they want to step into their sacred masculinity and lead, initiate. But they're worried about something being exposed. Can I take a look at that? Is that even possible to see what needs to be exposed? It's like a secret I have to tell you. It may not be a secret. It may be just be something that they kept private for some time. We have the Ten of Wands. This divine masculine admits that they know this could feel like a burden between you and them. They understand that if you, you know, they understand if you may be telling them no. Because I'm, I'm getting that they're worried that you may uh, reject or say no to working on the partnership. Somebody's heavily annoyed here. It's like this worry about being exposed is very annoying. I'm very determined to see this through. I'm also getting that uh, these concepts, this belief, this creed, whatever they're systematically following, it creates a lot of stress. Some days is good. Some days is not. Okay. So they have a burden to step into this. No, 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 no. It doesn't feel like a burden. Okay. You know what I'm getting? I'm, sp I'm like speeding. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking really fast here. But you ever watch Avatar? The Last Airbender or whatever. And when he was chosen out of that quiz or test to be the next avatar, I guess, he completely freaked out and he ran away. <laughs> so this may be this divine masculine. They were not here. She was not ready to step into their truth. Hey, but love is the reason. It's because of you. There goes my heart again. And it's because of you. Something that they're doing it's really uncomfortable here. We have the queen of wands. So your divine masculine may be having this feminine energy of the queen of wands, the initiator. Because the queen of wands, you know, she is like 
uh, in front of that army. Charge, right? <laughs> so the queen of wands could be your divine masculine feminine spirit. This could also be how they're viewing you quite outgoing, very, very sexy, strong sex appeal, uh, very confident in what you do. You could be multitasking here as well. They don't know how you do it. I'm also hearing the goddess of destruction, uh, Kali maybe here, or there's a Kali here worried about something about a, a Kali or California. We have 10 of swords. Let me tell you, 10, 10, some of you that, that could be some sort of signature, uh, number sync that could be following you, or you just see it everywhere. Don't throw away your life off of angel sinks or angel numbers. Put on your fucking thinking caps, pay attention, be mindful of the filter that you're streaming all this information in. Try not to be biased. Try to be open-minded. Hey, try not to control what you think the outcome should feel like or look like. Hey. Take it as GPS. When you put on your GPS in your car and you're following those instructions to the T, you don't hold on to it. You may remember the street, the street names, but you don't hold on to everything that you did. You may take note on uh, the wrong turns that you, you made. So I look at angel numbers as GPS signals, GPS instructions, all right? Don't throw away your life and then try to blame that, you know, it's demonic and all of that shit, yo. You guys put a lot of shit on, on the devil and demons. You guys got to quit that shit, yo. Too much credit. <laughs> so 10 of swords. Your divine masculine may be going through a betrayal. And things were exposed about someone that was very annoying or proved to be annoying in the last couple days. The tower calls to talk about a big uh, dramatic breakup or divorce. All right. Somebody's trying to break even is what I heard with the queen of wands. Breaking Bad, maybe somebody's favorite TV show. We have the Nine of Swords. Now, I'm hearing I could do battle by myself. Uh, this Divine Masculine may have allowed certain types of um, society norms. They may have been like, a, like I'm seeing like um, a slave. Somebody jumped the slave ship. This could be uh, getting out of a very karmic job as well. Getting away or finally getting up. Feeling a little bit more grounded. I'm hearing, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more like myself today. Some days are better than some. <laughs> I'm here if you ever had a rough day. I'll help you have a better night sexy as fuck all right i'm hearing i could do battle by myself this could be mutual uh energy from the divine masculine the divine feminine i'm choosing not to see the good in you anymore i'm choosing not to see the good in you anymore all i see is destruction this could be your divine masculine with something else that's going on in the background so some shit is burning uh, I'm hearing, I'm just going to let that motherfucker burn. You know that song by Usher? Go on and just let it burn. So your divine masculine could have a few people or there's like a ex a uh, It's like a wrath of a scorned woman. Because this divine masculine wants to break even or break into their independency. Or this divine masculine is trying to act independent. Somebody's trying to get destructive hair. Oh, this could feel like some dark magic here to cause um, destruction. Somebody's trying to provoke. Oh, I'm hearing that somebody's trying to take your divine masculine for all that they have. So this could be some sort of divorce. This divine masculine wanted to be on their own or they were married or involved with someone that was sharing the money here, but pretending or acting out single, very annoying. It was like a heavy burden of this person acting single. We have a queen of pentacles. So we have two feminine energies. Uh, the both of you, divine feminine, divine masculine, could be uh, operating from very feminine energies. So the both of y'all want to be receptive. The both of y'all uh, want to be on this receiving end. Because if we have... Uh, Two feminine energies, that would bump heads. This is why it's important to have masculine and feminine energy. This may be a prime example on why things didn't work out. Because the both of you were too much in your feminine energies, hey? 
And it just felt like you guys were betraying each other. Because it's like you're trying to give subtle hints or somebody was trying to give subtle hints. Hey, I'm also getting that. Uh, okay. Somebody's full of life. Full of love with the uh, Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, it's not going to resonate with all of you. So don't get hecked or uh, like vexed off of what I'm going to say. There is some sort of secret about pregnancy being exposed or somebody's going to spread some sort of story that they are pregnant to scare divine masculine. I'm getting that there was a shattered dream between a divine masculine and someone else, a feminine. And this per this feminine maybe became jealous and destructive when this divine masculine started to like move very independent and self-sufficient towards them. It's like, how many times am I going to sit around and let you betray me? Uh, me not standing up for myself is betrayal enough for, you know, me. There's some sort of manipulation and dark magic your divine masculine is trying to fight through. It's almost like they had to go into another situation with a feminine energy to recognize what true love is. A lot of illusions, a lot of things what they thought were true is it's collapsed. Some sort of psychopath is hey, annoying your divine masculine or annoying you. Tell me more. Five of Swords. Yeah. The Five of Swords has been raining a lot on different readers I saw as well. The Five of Swords could talk about a very complicated and a potential harmful situation with the Tower, the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Swords. This could be like, you know, people are manipulating situations to leave your divine masculine on their face. We have the three of cups could talk about a love triangle here. Stuck between two feminine energies. This could also, again, be your divine masculine kind of uh, breaking down their own belief system in their feminine. What they believe feminine women should look like. What, be, what they think. Um, it's almost like repair, destroy, and rebuild. I feel like your divine masculine is walking away from someone that have proven to be very harmful. I'm also getting that they want to kind of date you or pursue you. They may also know that you're on a spiritual path or you're going through a very uh, transitional time. It's almost like I don't want to bother you. So I'm going to like communicate from a distance. I'm hearing Selena Dion or Celine Dion. You were my voice when I couldn't speak. You were my eyes when I couldn't see. You saw the bed. Yeah, something like that. When I couldn't reach, you lift me up. Some of you, you are very single because this was very burdensome for you. I feel like you had to drop it. Maybe there was another feminine that was trying to fight you, hey? They had a fight. They had uh, friends that wanted to bully you or fight you. Hey? So you had to leave it alone. You had to protect yourself or your, your newborn, your unborn child. Mm -hmm. Somebody tried to shatter or break one of your divine masculine's dream in hopes to hurt them. I'm hearing from a witch to a healer or a healer to a witch or witch healer. I'm also hearing Christian witches. Some of you are like raising your eyebrow like, eh. Yeah, we do have Christian witches, hey. Hmm. I feel like your divine masculine may be holding back from you or the both of you are holding back because you understand how heavy this could be when you guys interact. It's like... There's a deep urge to move forward, but knowing that there are some things that are crumbling, things that are very unstable or uncertain. I'm hearing for the love of money. Some of you, your divine masculine may be accepting or obliging help from a, a, a feminine energy. Hey, We have 
uh, air signs, strong Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Cancer, Virgo, Sagittarius involved. Somebody's a bully because they're insecure and they're very spiteful. Ooh. So I don't know if your divine masculine is having a blowout with someone that's showing, you know, how um, spiteful they could be for the need of control. So somebody had a whip. I'm hearing I jumped the slave ship. Somebody jumped the slave ship. You know, sometimes we refer to like a very karmic job, a job that's pulling our energy for no pay, leaves us exhausted, tired out. I'm also again, this divine masculine is waking up to the fact that they have been spending or um, exu exuding too much energy to a dysfunctional or destructive person or situation. Forgetful. Somebody forgets about what they do. They're always like targeting or attacking a divine masculine or divine feminine. So it's almost like somebody wants to confront someone, but they flip it around. They get angry too. When somebody's angry, non-confrontational or somebody's not confront confrontable, hey. Pushy and self-righteous. Somebody's using spirituality uh, to shut someone down, to shut them up. Mm. Your divine masculine may be trying to do things on their own because they're dealing with very low vibrational, low confident feminine energy. It could be mom, sissy, uh, exes, hey, or even someone they were talking to, dating. So they're seeing the manipulation. And it's leaving them feeling weary, exhausted, and drained. They're ruined or they feel like they ruined something with you. With the five of swords being complicated, complex. You know, possibly um, trying to shut you down. So when you had your concerns or you try to expose something here, they shut you down. Force you to walk away because everything turned into a, a damn fight with this divine masculine. So in this Scorpio season, drama therapy is here with the five of swords. Now, sometimes we need drama to kind of clear our, um, our assumption here. I want to move on. This divine masculine may be laying or they're extremely tired and exhausted, but they want to move on. The tower. They want to move on. They feel beaten here really bad the three of cups could talk about wanting to be around people that uplift so the divine feminine you could fall in that category of the three of cups uh divine feminine divine masculine i know you guys may be very you're very pulled to work on this relationship you want a chance to do that true love with the three of cups what i'm getting here is there's a friendship that needs to be reinstated or restored here before you guys could actually have a union. So this divine masculine, they want some sort of happy time here with this divine feminine. True love re restores their holy trinity. So we have many different trinities, all right? But I said holy trinity for a reason. The mother, the father, and the babe, or the father, the son, the spirit, the divine, this could also talk about mind, body, and soul. Being into, getting into alignment after the tower. S something had to crash for things to fall in place internally. Hey, You get what I'm saying, babes? Tarot babes? We have a community. So uh, this divine masculine, they may want to come to your community or they want you to come to this. I'm hearing come to me. Come to me. Some of you, this divine masculine could be calling out to you telepathically because they know that you care, but you look very good. You're very grounded. So maybe you're a type that helps, but you don't like throw it back out at the divine masculine. They're dealing with someone that's bullying them, bringing up all sorts of things to kind of belittle or demeanor them. So this divine masculine is worried about some sort of secret being exposed. Could be a love triangle here. Maybe they don't want you to know that they have been dating. You probably already knew. 
this is probably why you step into this self-sufficient, trying to cultivate what you have going on in your life. Some of you, you're on the verge of a raise. You're going to be looking like a, a, a thug at you. <laughs> you know, you only want to mess with fucking thugs. You guys know what I'm saying? I'm hearing it's on by Beanie Siegel. Be Beanie Siegel and um, what's that guy? Jay-Z. It's on. That's that black superhero music. You know what I'm talking about? Ew. Yeah. They want to date you, mommy, papi. Y'all want to date each other. Don't even front. You know, if it was a perfect world, you guys would definitely be dating each other. But this is what... I don't want to say fairy tales about love is about. Because it's about conquering all of this shit to get to true love. This divine master may have you on a podium or up on a pedestal. So they always feel like you're out of reach. There's crimes here happening. Your, your divine master may have feel... Be oh, you know what song I'm getting? You know Lil Boozy? It's not Lil Boozy no more, but Boozy. Betrayed. Uh, featuring Webby. <laughs> I'm all over, right? We have chivalry. Chivalry is not dead. This divine masculine wants to date you. They want to pursue you. They want to treat you with respect. There's multiple distorted feminine energies in this reading. They could also have a distorted feminine frame, ideology. And now it's like they're being liberated. They're being freed from that. They could also have been very drawn to women that... Uh, beautiful women, sexy women, attractive women that had this sad story. They fall for it all the time because they have this masculine uh, savior's energy or syndrome. But what were they really saving? Hey, somebody that turned. I'm hearing that they're, the divine masculine saw something when this feminine energy explode. It saw something, maybe when he was looking at how uh, angry, like the rage coming from her eyes, his or her eyes, it spooked this divine masculine, like, what the fuck am I actually dealing with here? Who is this person? Something that this distorted feminine energy told your divine masculine, it left them very ruined, like a failure. So it's like, I don't know if this feminine helped your divine masculine with a situation and it, it didn't play out because it fell, it tanked with a tower and this distorted feminine energy is like, oh, you're good for nothing. You can't do anything right. And I put X, Y, and Z energy and money into it and look at you. So they felt really fucked up by this person. But they're also thinking about how they drove you away too with that same type of energy. We have chivalry. I don't know if this divine master is trying to keep the peace with this person and they're trying to give them uh, roses or some sort of an apology gift. And this person is like, no, I'm actually seeing somebody burning flowers or burning gifts. Like, no apology, not a fucking accepted or this, this distorted feminine is trying to do that with the masculine. Okay, so they want to come in and work on things with you. I feel like they're going to do the typical or traditional way of doing that. Flowers, call. Some of you are also hearing that this divine masculine is taking the burden of planning dates with you. So you guys could have a fun time. It's burdensome on them because it's very like um, nerve wracking to plan something with you, divine feminine. They just want it to play out. They don't want any disasters. They want it to be this uh, energy or environment where you guys could delegate. I'm hearing discuss some sort of compromise how could we meet in the middle to to give our relationship a chance hey wow that's crazy they're now seeing what's actually true because of these tower moments so if you're feeling a void it's because this masculine is drawing back all their all their, all their energy because they need it right now to go through this difficult time with these people or this person for some of you, this this is actually making your divine masculine or divine feminine powerful. It's like they're being full up of this like bright white light. I'm also hearing it could rebuild or it could destroy. And I feel like this divine masculine, they're starting to see that power within them. They're starting to see how they were abusing that power. Hey, 
with the five of swords being complex, complicated, um, almost abusive hair or showing up signs of abuse. For some of you, they were really gentle with you because they had uh, someone older teaching them that. Someone that was very nurturing, down to earth, humble. Some older feminine energy, auntie or grandma, taught your divine masculine how not to add the fuel to the fire. But they were dealing with feminines that were pushing them to do that. So they could have walked away from this very explosive feminine. And it's like... I'm, I'm just tired of going through the same old arguments. We're not finding a solution. It's not getting better here. I feel ruined. I feel like a failure due to this, but I'm going to have to keep walking. I don't want to give up, but I'm going to have to call it quits is what I heard. I don't know if it's with the divine feminine or with this distorted feminine, but I'm, I'm picking that it's the distorted feminine. Very gossipy or gossips about others to feel better here. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, distorted feminines, karmic feminines, male or female. You can't stop. You can't, you can't put a hex or spells or curses on true love. You could delay it. You could create illusions uh, that blocks from it. But ultimately, true love, divine uh, masculine, divine feminines, twin rays, twin flames, higher level soulmates. You, you can't stop that type of energy. And it's the, the true love. The truth about the true love is breaking a lot of shit down here. I feel like this divine masculine is hiding from this distorted feminine. Or again, this could be their own distorted feminine. That's that, that ideology, that belief, it's crumbling. So your divine masculine may want to show you some respect. Uh, they're worried that if you would even accept them, some of them may want to show up at your door or they fantasize about doing that. They should have ran after you instead of watch you walk away, but they were too drained or they just felt like embarrassed that they projected this failure energy on you. So let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. This is a twin flame reading. It was the most voted reading on the polls in the community uh, part of this channel. If you want to check that out, you could add a comment. You could leave a suggestion. It is all... Uh, welcome. All right. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Silent followers, shoot me those emails. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys motivate me to keep coming out. Okay. And banging out these messages and I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.